Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be episode 2 of our Killer Tech series that we've been doing. And today we're going to be talking about Starstruck on the Wraith. Let's dive in. So right off the bat, let's talk about Starstruck itself. This is a teachable perk from the Trickster that came out during the All Kill chapter. And what it does is whenever you pick up a survivor off the ground, every other survivor in your tear radius suffers from the exposed status effect. Now, what this means is that if you hit a survivor who's affected by exposed with a basic attack, which a lot of people will refer to as an M1, that survivor will instantly go down instead of just being injured. Also, before we get too far into this video, the footage in this killer tech is going to look just a little bit different from the footage in our last killer tech, and that is because I'm not actually using footage that I sourced from one of my Twitch broadcasts. This footage was all actually recorded off stream uh, instead of during one of my live uh, sessions. So it's going to look a little bit different, but this footage will still prove my point that uh, you should not underestimate the value of Starstruck on Wraith. Now, the reason that I think Starstruck is so good on Wraith and why I would recommend that you run it in more of your games is that Wraith's only form of pressure that he can generate with his power is through M1s. He doesn't have the ability to insta-down, such as uh, the Cannibal, Bubba, or H Hillbilly. But with Starstruck, it does actually give you the ability to insta-down survivors, which will then allow you to snowball your pressure and chain survivor downs back to back. In fact, if you do it correctly, you can even hit a survivor so hard that they'll disconnect from the game. Giving Wraith the ability to insta-down is incredibly strong as it allows him to maximize the efficiency of his chases. Instead of chasing a survivor and only getting a single hit and then having to chase them again and hit them twice, you instead just have to hit them the one time. And in doing so, you're going to save yourself a lot of time both in how long you're chasing survivors and additionally, if more survivors are getting slugged or getting hooked, it forces the remaining survivors to choose between unhooking and saving their teammates or doing generators. And in doing so, if they choose incorrectly, it could actually lead to a survivor dying early, and then you only have two or three survivors at that point to worry about instead of all four. Just like last time, I do want to talk about one quick synergy of another perk that we can use to get even more value out of Starstruck. In this case, it's Agitation, which is a teachable perk from the Trapper, and it increases your move speed while you are carrying a survivor. What this means is that you can apply Starstruck to more survivors on the map by covering a larger area of the map with your terror radius as you move. So in doing so, it gives you the potential to afflict more survivors with Exposed, which will then in turn either make them run and hide or give you the opportunity to down them quickly. Again, you don't necessarily need to run Agitation, Starstruck on its own is very powerful, and the additional benefit that it gives Wraith on its own is definitely nothing to sneeze at. But if you really want to use this as your primary method of slowing the game down by downing as many survivors as you can as quickly as possible, I would definitely recommend pairing the two. That just about concludes my thoughts on Starstruck on the Wraith. Are there any other synergies that you think I might have missed in going over this perk? Any other bits and pieces of information that maybe would have made this video even more helpful, feel free to leave all that stuff down in the comments below. I do try to respond to every single one of the comments I get. Your guys' feedback is so important to me, and I really appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch my videos and, uh, you know, leave your own thoughts down below. Um, again, this has been Whoopsies. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see the next killer text that we've got coming down the pipe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.